pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. another edition of Small Talk. I'm Xavier. And I'm Jazz. If you are interested in being part of the musical theater, there will be a meeting held next Wednesday, April 5th at 2 10 p.m. in the band room. For more information, see Mrs. Hyde's in the media center. Student Services will be holding a meeting for all students interested in dual enrollment. Classes on Tuesday, April 4th during the last 30 minutes of your lunch periods. Students who are planning on taking classes at LOLHS should be in attendance. We will be going over dual enrollment procedures and going over required paperwork. Students who are planning on taking classes at PHSC should make an appointment to meet with the PHSC advisor and their school counselor and student services offices. These will take place April 13th and April 27th. Home is approaching. This year's theme is Enchanted Forest. Ticket sales will be sold from April 25th to May 5th. They will be sold during 4th, 5th, and 6th lunches, the last 20 minutes, and also after school room 308. The last day of selling on May 5th, prices will jump up to $90. Tonight at 6, there is a Relay for Life at Steinbrenner High School. There's a whole varsity baseball game tonight at 7 versus River Ridge. DC is promoting the R Word campaign. This is a global campaign our school will be taking part in and not saying the word retarded offensively. There are labels set up at lunch periods to pledge no longer saying this word. You will receive a bracelet, ribbon, and a chance to win a t-shirt when you pledge. Now time for short sports. Alright everyone, welcome to Short Sports. I am Jacob Brown. Today I'm going to talk about March Madness, the NBA, and the NHL. Starting with March Madness, and I'm going to be honest with everyone, I'm not that great at predicting March Madness games, but from the games that I've watched, I think North Carolina has been the most impressive team, and I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that they're going to win the March Madness tournament. Moving on to the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers have been a disaster since the All-Star break. They are 29th out of 30 teams in the NBA in defense, and additionally, the Cavs also lost to the San Antonio Spurs by a big amount and they were horrible in that game. Kyrie Irving only had eight points. The Cavs are now the second seed in the NBA Eastern Conference, and the Boston Celtics are number one. And then moving on to the NHL, the Tampa Bay Lightning are three points out of a playoff spot, but with their OT win against the Blackhawks, which is a comeback win, it was 5-4 to in OT. That can give them a lot of momentum going into their final games. But... The Lightning are going to have to win almost all of their games to make the playoffs. I think they can do it because they did beat the Blackhawks, who are the best team in the Western Conference, and maybe, just maybe, they'll get Steven Stamkos back before the end of the regular season. And for this edition of Short Sports, I'm Jacob Brown, and we'll see you next time. And that's it for today, Gators. See you next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.